Hello and welcome. Bill Sklavowski here with another exciting edition of iPhone Friday. Every Friday at about 8 o'clock Eastern Time in the United States, we do another kind of a classroom lesson on how to get the most out of your iPhone or iPad, uh, since they're both very much the same. And uh, this week, uh, as we continue our iPhone A to Z series, we're up to the E, and E is for emergency calls. Now, if you go back just a few weeks, um, we did a little bit about emergency calling on a What's New Wednesday. So today I want to dig in a little deeper to set up the app properly. Well, I shouldn't say app. Um, to set up the uh, features that will help you get the most out of it and help others help you <laughs> if needed. And th again, this is one of those features, and I think I mentioned it earlier, that can actually really save your life if you know something should happen and someone needs to uh, get information about you or get help to you, that sort of thing. So anyway, um, don't want to make it too dramatic, but we do want to say that this is a really helpful and important thing to know about with your iPhone. So let's dig into emergency settings on your iPhone. Now, um, as always, uh, we've got some things I can show you on the phone and some things not so much because they're like inside settings. But if you get the handout that we do uh, every week when I send out the email, more on how to get that later, I'll have screenshots and, you know, point here, click here kinds of things. But so just keep that in mind. Okay, so let's dig into the phone and find out. So there's a separate app on the phone. And now let me back up two seconds. When we did the What's New Wednesday, we talked about the simple way that you can use your iPhone to make an emergency call or the way someone can make an emergency call to EMS first responders for you if they find you in trouble but have your phone. And we talked about the fact that even if somebody, uh, you know, gets your phone and doesn't have the fingerprint ID or the face ID to be able to use it, that they can still bring up the phone and get to it with the emergency call right there. And they can tap on the emergency and it will make that emergency call, even if the phone is still locked, okay? So just kind of keep that in mind there. All right, but for today, we wanna set up the things kind of behind the scenes. They're gonna give that app the information it needs so that when somebody like an emergency responder does need to help you, it has the information. I hope that's not too confusing, but I think you get the picture. So the app is the health app on your phone. And most of the time people don't even pay any attention to it. But if you do a search for it, remember if you just pull down on the screen, there it is right there. I just did a search a few minutes ago for health. So it's still up there. It's just the, the heart on the white background, okay? If you're not sure, if you can't find it, you can always just you know do the Siri trick open health and there it is okay so this is it starts with this summary and i want to walk you through a couple of things that are in here the thing that you really want to make sure you have in there is where it says review medical id access right in an emergency medical id can provide first responders with life-saving information okay so if you haven't you tap on that guy and because they've made some changes lately, you get this, you know, update here. And then just tap down to the bottom where it says review medical ID. Now, on this one, you can put in as much stuff information as you like. And I don't have a lot in here because I don't want to put a lot of personal information out there for the video. But feel free to fill in as many things as you want there, okay? So, you know, now you know my date of birth and I'll, I'll expect cookies. I'm just saying. But you can put in all kinds of other things there, height, weight, blood type, size, you know, and, and an emergency contact. And there's uh, the fabulous partner, Lori, there, and more on that in a moment. But again, you can put in as much stuff you, as you want here. And any of these items are editable just by tapping on them, right? So if I tap on, for example, medical conditions, all right, I can just type in right there or, you know, medical notes or, uh, you know, allergies, medications, what I have, you know, all of that stuff. It's just a text field, which means just tap on it and start typing in what it is. Okay. So, you know, there's not a lot of high tech there. You just type in what it is. And then when it's done, done button up on the top, okay, and it will save that information for you, okay? So other things to check on, by the way, is this one, which I just hit the next button up at the top of the screen, and it says share medical ID information during an emergency call. 
Now, some um, EMS departments, you know, emergency medical services, can actually, uh, their, your phone can actually communicate with the department, even if you don't speak it, it can send information. And as it says, your iPhone can automatically send the information in your medical ID via secured third-party service to the dispatcher who answers the call. Now, that's super important because maybe you are not in any kind of shape to be able to answer questions or maybe if somebody else is calling for you they're not going to know but this is going to automatically relay information okay and then you can choose on the bottom there where it says share your information just tap on it and you know share or not share okay more on that again in the handout where I can show some more detailed information without getting too you know far off the path here but again the important thing is you want to show it when it, the phone is locked so that again, like we said, because you can make an emergency call even when the phone is locked, if you have that turned on, it will also offer the option of whoever has your phone, let's say it's you know an EMS person or something like that, first responder, they can open your phone and even if they don't have the fingerprint ID or the face ID or anything else, that they will have the ability to read that information from your phone pretty helpful stuff, okay? So turn that on or off at your choosing. Now some other stuff, by the way, there's all kinds of health stuff on this page here. You know, you can, like where it says steps, if you have an Apple Watch or a, a, a Fitbit, one of those things that measures your steps during the day, you know, you can see how many steps you've taken. And obviously I've been sitting at my desk all day, probably want to get up and take some steps. But anyway, register as an organ donor and all of that stuff. Now I'm already a registered organ donor on my driver's license I'm you know you can also put it in here should you choose so there's a lot in there but the important stuff is really this first one this medical ID information and also the emergency contacts so let's talk about that for two seconds when you make an emergency call okay when you make a call using what's called that SOS feature that you know that we talked about in the previous what's new Wednesday and by the way, if you have a, an iPhone, there's two ways that you can do it. The easiest is really if you hold that. Let me get back to the uh, to the big picture here and I'll show you. You know, you have a volume button, volume button on one side of the phone, up and down volume buttons there. And you have the little sleep button over on this side. If you push both of them at the same time, and it doesn't matter which volume button, if you push both at the, and I got one finger over here and I got one finger over here. If I push both at the same time, all right, it will come up right there and then automatically I can show the medical ID or I can make an emergency phone call just by sliding. All right. And obviously I'm going to turn that off so we don't get into trouble here, but oh, yeah, I'm clicking on my computer screen. Sorry about that. Now, when it comes back, you have to put in your passcode, right? The fingerprint ID won't work because it might've been somebody else who picked up the phone rather than you. So let me put in my, uh, passcode here and we'll get back to work. All right. And if you saw that, by the way, you saw, I'm going to blank that out on the later video. <laughs> you know my passcode if you get my phone. All right. So anyway, you can do that where you push both buttons and then slide to call. Now there's one other feature that I wanted to make you aware of. All right. And that is if you, um, if you want to, there is a feature called auto call which basically means if you do that thing where you push both buttons at the same time, all right, the phone will count down five seconds and automatically make the call, the 911 call, whether you slide that switch or not, okay? And that's called auto call. So if you want to check on that on your phone to see if it works or not, let's go into settings, always in our friend settings there, right? And then down to Emergency SOS, it has its own, it has its own entry there. So tap on emergency SOS. And here's where a lot of the settings that we've been talking about are displayed. Okay. So the call with side button turned on. I leave that on. All right. And here's auto call. So if you have that turned on, all right, and you, you know, want to uh, have the phone do it automatically. All right. Even if you press the two buttons and then do nothing else it will count down and automatically make the call, right? So, you know, maybe you are incapacitated, you can't make the call, whatever, you know, that's up to you, all right? So that's auto call and it can be on or off. And even if you turn it off, of course, you still have the ability to make 
the 911 call, you just have to push the buttons and swipe it. So it's kind of two actions instead of one, okay? So that's the important thing in here. There's some other settings, but most of them I just leave the, like the side button, I leave that turned on, all right? You know, there's a countdown, it'll, very at the bottom of the bottom, down, excuse me, down at the bottom, it has that play, a warning sound while emergency SOS is counting down to call emergency services. Yeah, I, that's fine. I'm, I'm good with all of that. All right, let's talk about one last thing, and that is the, uh, uh, your emergency contacts. Of course, once you call or once you use the phone to call, you know, EMS and that sort of thing, right? Um, emergency services, whoever or whatever that might be, right? The phone is going to do one other thing for you, and that is it's going to send a text message to whoever you specify as an emergency contact. It's going to tell them that you've dialed EMS or 911, and it's going to give your position, give your location on a map. And we also had, by the way, a um, we also had a What's New Wednesday video that shows how that you know map can go into a text message with a little push pin to show where you're at. Well, it's going to automatically do that for you. So you can have one or as many emergency contacts as you want on your phone. So if something happens to you, your phone is going to get in touch with all of them, right? To let it know, to let them know what something's going on. Now, the easiest way to do that is literally through contacts, okay? So if you open up your contacts on your phone, all right, there's all my friends and all my business acquaintances and all of that stuff, okay? If I go to my friend, uh, if I go to my friend, let's see, uh, I don't know, pick one, Dr. Ed Carlson, he's a, he's a good friend of mine, okay? And he's a doctor, how convenient. Uh, he's a retired dentist, but that's okay. Scroll all the way down and look, every contact way down there at the bottom has a button that says add to emergency contacts, okay? Every one. So go and find another one, just scroll down here. Here's another doctor friend of mine. All right, scroll down. Add to emergency contact. I'm picking all these doctors. Might be a good idea, who knows? So anyway, you can use the contacts to add several people to your emergency contacts so that if something should happen, it's gonna automatically send a text to those people. And by the way, it's going to update every 10 minutes with a, if you move your location. So say EMS does come and scoops you up and puts you in the ambulance and takes you to the hospital, where it's going to update your contacts to say, you know, that you've moved and now you're here and now you're here. And so it could be, again, very helpful for, you know, if people need to find you and what's going on. So there you go. All right. There's more to it than that. And I'm going to actually use or I'm going to actually put more information into the uh, handout that we uh, give this weekend. And uh, Apple actually has a very good website that has lots of information about emergency calling and the services and how to set it up and how everything works. So we'll tap into some of that. And uh, so there you go. If you have questions about any of this, please feel free to leave them wherever you're watching, here on Facebook or on YouTube or on the blog over at BillSkladowski.com. And if there's anything that you know wasn't clear or whatever, I can be, I'm glad to make another video to clear that up for us to make sure we get it right because this is this is a helpful and important thing that your iPhone and your iPad can do to make you safer out there and gosh knows we all need more of that these days. Meanwhile, if you're not on our list yet, let me invite you over to our website, BillSkladowski.com, uh, where you can sign up for the weekly email uh, recap. Every week, usually on a Sunday afternoon, send out a, uh, an email that has the two videos, links to the two videos that were out for this week, and also the free handout, because for like a class like this, if you weren't taking notes or you were trying to follow along or whatever, it might be a little too much information there, right? So I send you, for free, no charge, the handout for the Friday class. And all you got to do is stop over to the blog, at BillSkladowski.com. Click that button right there on the front page and uh, put your email address in. That'll make sure you get the information for free. By the way, if you have friends or colleagues that you think might help, uh, that you know might be helped by this, feel free to send them over to the blog as well and make sure they're on our list as well. All right, that's going to do it. Kind of a heavy topic for today, but interesting and good stuff, really powerful stuff. So thanks for joining me. Again, if you have questions, feel free to leave them. Uh, if you uh, want to share this, I would certainly appreciate that. And uh, other than that, have yourself a good weekend. 
This is a long holiday weekend in the United States, so uh, be safe out there. And we'll see you next week for What's New Wednesday and another edition of iPhone Friday. Thanks.